All right, we are in Condado at one of the hottest spots, especially if you're looking for a hot celebrity chef, like the guy sitting next to me here. We're at Bar Gitano, one of the many establishments of Chef Roberto Trevino. I got that right. You got it right. That's <laughs> absolutely correct. Now, Chef, first of all, thank you for having me in. I've heard so much about you and your wonderful restaurant. Well, thanks for being here. I, I think, you know, Bar Gitano in particular is uh, is a restaurant that I kind of wanted to showcase because I think it's um, it's really kind of right on the, the, you know, the pushing the envelope kind of restaurant right now where we're trying to serve really high quality items and in a really relaxed atmosphere without being too stuffy, you know. I mean, we have those restaurants, but we like this one because it's it's got the bar environment. It has the great food. We're really pushing it in the kitchen to to, to just do exciting things. For example, this this octopus here, it, we cook it, we braise it in an oven for about three hours at 250 degrees, which allow it to be really, really tender. And then we just finish it on the plancha with a little pimenton and olive oil, and it's perfect. We keep it simple, but the quality allows it to be spectacular. And of course, this is pan con tomate, and I think it's the star of Spanish cuisine. You know, you go to Spain and you can have a million things, but to have just tomatoes, that are, 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 are seasoned with salt and olive oil and then spread them on a great piece of artisanal bread. I think that what you've captured there is probably the essence of the sun, you know, and, and rain and beautiful things. So it's a great simple dish. It, you know, it's a vegetarian dish, which I think is exciting, you know. I think uh, when you can really showcase vegetables and make them the star of a dish, I think you're doing the right thing in today's kitchen, you know. I grew up in the Bay Area. I think uh, it's an exciting place to grow up because there's a lot of exciting chefs and great restaurants and, and demanding diners, which allow a young cook to really push it and become, you know, well seasoned and so I decided to go out into the world and I'm on my way to go to Dubai but I stop in Puerto Rico and I fall in love with Puerto Rico and Puerto Rico has been good to me so I started to sort of want to bring the different ideas that uh, that I saw happen in California a revolution of food during the California cuisine times you know uh, and, and, and I saw the same revolution and the, 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 the particular diner that is very demanding and the great wine cellars in this island so I said to myself you know, I found a great place to be a chef and feed people who want to be fed great food. And Puerto Rico is really, I think, renowned for that. I think San Juan in general has um, an exciting restaurant scene here in the Caribbean. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say the best because I've been to so many islands in the Caribbean that have so many great restaurants. And I, I think that Puerto Rico and the rest of the Caribbean are experiencing a sort of a revolution with food and I see it in all the islands and I see the quality coming up. So your parents are Puerto Rican, you grew up in San Francisco, you're now back in Puerto Rico as son of the soil returning home. Your food is as exotic and exciting as your as your culture, as your heritage. How much of that influences your your taste and your style and the menus you come up with? Well, I think 100%. I think my my Latin upbringing in general, you know, my my work ethic Allow, and the work ethic my parents instilled in me allow me to take what I do very seriously. Even though it's fun and exciting, I do take it very serious. And I think that my, my cooks and my different restaurants, you know, the Buda Thai, Casa Lola, Gia's Pizzeria, Bar Gitano and Barril, all, and I had to do that, all, uh, you know, really have that culinary culture behind them. The real essence of your celebrity status stems from the Iron Chef and the next Iron Chef. My goodness, tell us about that experience. You had fans all over the Caribbean nice, biting yeah. their nails off, rooting for you. You know, when I when I was was selected to do the Iron Chef, the original Iron Chef, to go against Mario Batali, I, I went in there with the intention to represent myself. And then I realized I was representing my kitchen. Then I realized there was so many people behind it, I was representing Puerto Rico. And then I did a couple of dinners on the islands and a couple of people said to me, you realize you weren't there representing just Puerto Rico, you were representing the entire Caribbean. And I said to myself, wow, I didn't have an idea how important. No pressure. You know, yeah, well, you know, it, it's a great thing. And you know, once again, I for me to go do Iron Chef, and, and even though I didn't win against Mario Batali, uh, you know, I felt like it was a huge step for me personally, and a huge step for recognition on a world scale for the Caribbean and the movement of food going on down here. So for me, I mean, challenging, exciting, and as a cook, you know, nothing could be more 
fulfilling than to be challenged at that level and on TV and like a gladiator walking into oh Kitchen Stadium gosh, <laughs> against Mario Batali the Great, you know, so exciting. All right, I'm about to get into this bar Gitano cuisine. I know you have something else, oh, yeah, right? I do, I do. I have a vegetarian paella coming our way that you're going to love, you know. In paella like I've never had it before. Absolutely, look at this. It's a vegetarian ay, ay, ay. Look at that. Right? Look at that. We've got marinated carrots. We've got, you know, braised mushrooms and tomatoes that I've seasoned. And then we cook it all with the rice and we use the vegetable stock. And there's pimiento padrón and I, and, I, and I added onions y a caballo. Cosecha a mesa. And for our English-speaking friends, that means? Farm to table. It's going down, Bar Gitano style, Island Exclusive style, Chef Roberto Trevino style. Thanks, Chef. Salud. Buen provecho. <laughs> Salud. Buen provecho. <laughs> I'm Janille Bonter. Thanks for joining me in Puerto Rico. For more about this sizzling island destination, visit the show online at islandexclusive.com.